Hello and welcome back again to day 16 of this Mule Advanced Training. So in this lecture, we are going to understand about the next topic, CI-CD. And we will see how to achieve CI-CD using Jenkins. There is a small problem while running M unit. I'll tell you, uh, M unit through Jenkins, I will tell you what to do. So let us get started. What is this CI-CD? Normally, what we do is as a developer, uh, we write the code and commit it to GitHub. So normally in GitHub, there will be branches like dev or test. We call another thing like pre-prod and production branches. Normally, this is these are the names, but names may vary. Normally what developers will do, if there are developers, developer one and developer two, etc., they will write their code, commit actually to their own branches, which are derived from dev, and finally will merge the code changes to dev. So finally, what whatever developer develops, they will merge it to dev branch or test branch. Now, whenever a developer commits the code to GitHub into this branch. We want to build that application and then run the test cases and check if test cases are successful or not. So what we need is some server which can be configured to pull this GitHub branch for any new commits. If there are any new commits, check out the code, do a Maven build, and execute all the test cases during the build. If build is a success or failure, we want that reports. So if you are stopping after building, then you are actually doing continuous integration. So whenever a small code changes, you are building it, test running all the test scenarios, test cases. You are doing continuous integration. By doing continuous integration, what we achieve, if there are bugs, we'll be able to find at an earlier stage. As you know, if you take more time to find a bug, the time to fix also will, ex will increase exponentially. That means we should make sure that the bugs are found as early as possible. So continuous integration helps. Now we want to take it one more step. If the build is successful, I want to develop this onto a dev environment because this is committed to a dev branch, right? Whatever has been checked out and built that has to be deployed onto dev branch. Or after development is successful and on dev branch or test server, dev server or test server, or if all the tests are run and everything is fine, we will migrate. We will actually commit the same code or merge the same code to pre port branch. We want another job on this. Get all the test cases and then deploy it to pre prod environment. If everything is fine here also, we will merge the changes to prod branch up here, check out test cases and deploy to production environment. So, here what we are doing is we are actually deploying small changes, small and incremental changes regularly onto corresponding environments and testing it. So this is nothing but continuous deployment. So to achieve CI CD, we need some CI CD servers and Jenkins is one of the famous tool which we use for achieving CI CD. So let us see how to use um, Jenkins as CI CD server. Very simple. Uh, I'll just tell you um, how to download. I'll first go to Jenkins download. I'll just Google. It will take me to the download page. And here um, you can specify for Windows because I'm using Windows. Um, so I select it. Download will start. I'll wait until this download is completed. OK, in download is done. Now I'll just click on it. The installer will start. I will take all the defaults. So the Jenkins will be installed here in this location. Next. 
uh, I can actually run in some other domain or better. I will select run service as local system. Uh, I Jenkins will run on port 8080. The port is available on my machine. If 8080 is not available on your machine, you just have to change the port. OK, test successful. Next it requires uh, either 11 JDK 11 or 17 or 21. So I have JDK 11 at this path. It is taking it. Then next install. So Jenkins will will be installed as a service. I'll just click on finish. Now once it is installed, uh, I'll just go to localhost 8080. Yes, it is saying please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work. It will take some time and show me the login page. It will ask me for a password. Let us wait. Yes, now I got this screen. It is saying to ensure Jenkins is securely set up by administrator. It has created a password in this file. I will just go to this directory. Yeah, here there's a file initial admin password. This is the password. I'll copy. Then paste it here. Continue. So it is asking me to install suggested. Select plugins. I will install all the selected plugins. So basically Jenkins internally works based on plugins. There are a lot of plugins. Assistant. So it will take some time for the plugins to get downloaded and installed. I'll pause my video and I'll continue once it is done. OK, all the plugins were in successfully. It took more than almost 10 minutes, I guess. So after plugins are installed, uh, it's asking me to create a first admin user. I'll give the username as Siva and password also as Siva. Confirm password as Siva. Superset. Yep, save and continue. So it is asking that it will configure Jenkins at this URL. Save. That's all. Now I'll click on start using Jenkins. Jenkins is ready. Good. So Jenkins installation is done. For the first time, we need to actually configure Jenkins and tell which Maven to use, which Git Hub to use, Git to use, etc. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'll click on Manage Jenkins, and here I'll click on Tools. Let me configure the tools. So first thing is we need to add the JDK what needs to be used. <coughs> um, I'll give you JDK. Path, C program files, Java JDK 11. I want to give this. I need to tell where is Git. So, where is my Git installed? C program files, Git bin. Here I have Git.exe. I have to give the entire path to Git.exe. OK, then mm, I need to add Maven. So I don't want it to install. I have Maven already on my machine um, in my C drive. Here is Maven. I want to give this as my Maven home. I just give MVN underscore home, whatever. That's all. These are the global tool configurations which I need to do. Save it and apply. That's all. Now we are ready to start our first Jenkins job. So what I want to achieve is right now. Um, this is my project which I have in my AnyPoint Studio and I have committed the same to my Git repository. Um, here is my Git repository. Uh, I have committed everything to this Git repository. Now, whenever there is a code change or commit to this repository, I want my Jenkins job to poll for any changes. And if there are any changes, I want it to check out the code and then 
do a Maven deploy so that it will be deployed to Cloud Hub. Let us see how I can configure a job for doing that. So what all I have to do is I have to click on new item. I'll give a name. I will say my uh, restaurant API job. I want to create a freestyle project. Normally in your team, your administrators or DevOps team will configure all these uh, jobs using uh, XMLs. But as a developer or an architect, you just need to know OK, how it works. So I'm going to create it through the UI using this freestyle project. OK. So what I have to do is I have to specify what is the source code management. I want to use Git as my source code management. And what is a Git repository URL? I'll copy paste this URL. Then I have to add my GitHub credentials. Add Jenkins and I have to give my username and password of my GitHub and a unique ID and then add it. Just now I have added so before some time, so you can see that it'll appear like this. I have given my credentials and I selected it. OK. Then which branch to build? Uh, actually, what is my branch name? Here it is master only, so I'll give master. I want to check out this branch. OK, then what? Actually, I want to pull the source code management for any new commits. I have to give the cron expression. I am not very good at cron expressions, but I know a small uh, one con cron expression like this to pull the source code repository after every five minutes. See, it is saying if the last run was at this time, it will pull it 932. That means after five minutes. OK, once the checkout has been done, what is the build step here? I have to add. I want to invoke top level Maven targets, which Maven version I've configured this Maven underscore home. If you remember. Then goal, I want to invoke deploy goal. Hmm. And for this, I need to specify what is the other properties. Do you remember whenever I fired uh, MVN clean deploy? I used hyphen D. Mule deploy. Actually, when you are passing as property, what you have to do? You have to write mule deploy is equals to true. And what are properties? Suppose if you want to skip M unit tests, skip M unit tests. Actually, we don't want to skip M unit tests in a real scenario, but I just want to skip right now for this particular scenario. So that assuming that M unit tests are successful, I want to show you it will get deployed to Cloud Hub. That's all. If this goal is executed using these properties, I should see that the deployment will be done. OK, so let me go to. Um, runtime manager. Uh, actually, let me show you this form.xml. So what is the. Default. Environment sandbox. OK, it will be deployed to sandbox environment. Fine. Now I will save this. Actually, it will pull the source code repository after every five minutes for new checkouts. Right now, I don't want to wait for five minutes. I'll click on build now. So let us see what is happening in the console output. You can. This API is fetched using Git. And then you can see it is executing Maven. Using these properties that I configured. And then deploy goal. So the Maven build is happening once it is successful. Um, once it is successful, actually it will. Deploy. Get it failed. Hmm, what is it saying? Could not resolve the dependency. Restaurant SAPI dependency. It is not able to resolve it. Most probably could not execute the goal. 
could not transfer. OK. So the thing might be I forgot actually in the job. I will um, configure again. Actually, um, I need to point to my settings.xml um, here under advanced. Settings.xml. I'll configure it to point to my settings.xml. Um, so it is in my .m2 folder. This is the settings.xml. I'll give the path slash settings.xml. Good that you saw an error. Uh, normally we forget sometimes. I forgot to set this path. Or otherwise I can actually make a default global setting as well, but right now I have set it. Save. OK, again I will do a new build and let us see. OK, let us see the console output. Hmm. Now this command is getting executed. Let us see if the build will be successful now. Looks like build is getting. Success. Hmm. Building a success. Now it is trying to deploy. This one. Yes, I guess now it should be successful. Let me go to any point platform here and refresh. I should see that it is getting deployed. Mm, still it is saying no application. Let me check. OK, it said starting. Mm, let me go, go, go again and refresh. Yeah, now we can see that it is getting deployed. That's it. So we are able to deploy applications using Jenkins. So as I've configured this Jenkins job to pull GitHub at regular intervals of five minutes, if I do any change or and commit to my Git repository, automatically this Jenkins will do the redeployment. So that's about CI CD. So we are done with day 16.